Hello. My name is the most important question that we have often asked, or at least I have heard many times, as a question is, is something right or wrong? Can I do this or not? Is this okay for me to do? And I speak to young people all the time, and I get asked questions like that. Is it okay if I do this or not? Does God want me to act this way? Or does God want me to live a certain way? And in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse number 13, we are reminded, Fear God, and keep his commandment. For this is the true duty of man. In other words, that's the only reason we live. To fear God, and I don't mean to be afraid of him, but have respect for who he is. And to do what is pleasing to him. Fear God and keep his commandments. <clears throat> and there will be time in our life when we come to a crossroad. And we have to decide, am I going to do this? Or am I going to do that? And all we have to decide, am I going to act this way? Or am I going to enjoy myself with this form of entertainment or something? And we have to ask ourselves and understand, is this right or is this wrong for me as a question to do? <clears throat> and there will be time when we have to figure out is this right or wrong. So how do we make the right choices and decisions in this time? Well, here are some steps, and I will put them in the description below. But here are some steps that you can take to figure out and answer that question. Number one, first of all, are we willing to do what is right? Jesus said in John 7, verse 17, If anyone will is to do God will, he will know whether the teaching is from God, or whether I speak on my own authority. The question we have to ask ourselves is, are we truly wanting and desiring to do what is right? If we are, and we have a relationship with God, our lives are right with God, He will guide us and let us know many times whether something is right or wrong. So first of all, are we willing to do what is right? 
and number two, does it agree with the Bible? So, what 19 verse number 11 is an important for us, an important verse for us to remember. It says, <clears throat> I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. The more we know and understand and <clears throat> learn God's word, the more we know what is right and what is wrong. Second Peter chapter one verse number three says his divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. So we ask Am I willing to do what is right? Because if we're not willing to do what is right no matter what, then we might as well not be asking that question. Is this right or wrong? But, are we willing to do what is right no matter what? And then number two, does it agree with the Bible? What does the Bible teach about that thing? And then, number three, have we prayed about it? So, uh, Philippians chapter four, verse number six says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, my prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. We don't have to struggle with making the right choices when we can simply ask God for wisdom. Remember, James 1, verse number 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives generously to all, and it will be given to him. So, have we prayed about it? Then, number four, are you listening to the Holy Spirit? Roman chapter 8, verse Number 26 tells us, likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we are. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with growing too deep for words. If we are seeking to know and obey God, and we are striving to live the way His Word commands us to live. The Holy Spirit will guide us. We just have to listen. <clears throat> we just have to let Him guide us. So, then, number five, does it please God? A very simple answer to making the right choices and decisions. Does what I'm questioning please God? Will He be happy with me if I do it or not? Does it please God? 
if it doesn't obviously we should make the choice to do it. So reminds us in first Corinthians ten thirty one. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Making the right choice and decision in our life is not always easy, but it is always critical if we want to honor and glorify Him with our lives. If we want to grow in our relationship with Him and truly please Him. So I hope that these five things will help you make some of those important decisions in your life. And please like and subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos on living the Christian life and following God. Thank you.